Uh, we are here with Scott Sandlin following UMD's shootout loss to Omaha. Uh, any opening comments, Coach? Uh, you know, I mean, obviously disappointed not to be able to get the three points with a two nothing lead, but to give give Omaha credit, they they battled all night, which we knew they're they're a good hockey team, and you know, obviously the the major penalty they got the the bounce there off the stick right away, but we managed to kill it. But just uh, you know, those things uh, you just can't. You can't do that, but uh, we had plenty of opportunities throughout the game to make it a bigger lead, and you know we didn't capitalize. And Seville made some big saves, but uh, give them credit too. It was what we expected—a a tight battle, a hard-fought battle, and you know they got the extra point. All right, opening question to Matt. Scott, you mentioned uh, the chances you guys had. Did you like the Ozo time your team had, especially on uh, the first two periods there? Yeah, it was better. I mean, yeah, it was certainly much better than what we had. I thought uh, we started the game on time. I thought we started well and created a little little buzz and momentum down there. And, you know, again, found a way to get a goal. And, you know, we built on that goal. But we had plenty of – you got to take – you know, you got to capitalize on those chances, boy. And, uh, you know, like I said, I mean, Seville made some good saves. We didn't – we made him, uh, you know, look good at times by where we shot pucks. But uh, – I'd like to have those back because I think uh, you get a couple more and the game's different, but uh, you know, it's no different than what uh, Ryan Fanny did for us against Denver, right? The goalies uh, make some saves and keep your, your team within reach. And uh, certainly two goal lead isn't, uh, isn't uh, out of reach in this league for anybody. And uh, you know, they came back and tied it. And like I said, uh, we had chances, both teams in the shootout and they got the extra point. Over to Candace. Scott, I just wanted to ask you about uh, Ryan's play through the pod so far and, and what he's meant to your team and, and how he's really stepped up for you. I mean, it's, you mentioned some of his saves, uh, particularly that save on Chase Primo at the end of the OT period. I mean, that was top notch and his glove was strong throughout the third period, I thought. You know, he's played great for us, obviously. Big question mark, Candace, coming into the season, right, with our, with our goalies. None of them have played. And, you know, we gave Ryan the start and, you know, he – yeah, winning, you know, and I think the, the Denver game, he was the difference, uh, like I said, which gave us a chance to come back and, and score a couple power play goals. But, uh, you know, I thought uh, his play is, is, you know, given our team certainly some confidence. And, you know, we got Zach in there for one game. But, no, he's played great for us, and he's made key saves and, and timely saves. And, and, you know, today was no different. Over to Matt. Scott, uh, your team's performance in the faceoff circle, that a concern tonight for you? I don't know how to look at that. I haven't seen the numbers. So obviously by your question, it didn't sound very good. Well, no, you know what? Hey, they're good too, right? They're got some heavy guys. Nolan Slovin's a heavy body in the middle. You got Primo, you got uh, you know, those types of guys, a body. I mean, they're, they're good players. They're skilled. I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, you're, it's not just the center. You know, we, we think we did a good job engaging. And, and even if we did lose a draw, you know, you still got to, your wingers still have to help us. I'll look at the numbers. We'll, we'll look at it, but uh, you know, it was part part of the game that we didn't win. Back to Matt. Uh, what did it mean to see Nick Sweeney get going uh, off the goals here? And, and he might have been uh, one of the positive guys in, in the faceoff circle. Seems like him and Noah are doing a great job creating offensive chances at the start of kills there. Well, it was a big goal. I mean, you know, they they love to shoot pucks and and. Uh, you know, we, we did a good job off the draw with puck pressure. We talked about that just not only so much on the penalty kill, but just all night trying to trying to pressure pucks more. I thought we were being too too easy of a team to play against. But you know, for him to get that, it's it's great. He's had a great start for us. He's he's been a leader in every sense of the word. And you know, it's nice to see him find the net. And you know, that'll continue because uh, of how he's playing and, and the opportunities he's gonna get. So uh, not not surprised by it. It was just, you know, it was nice because he's had a lot of assists and he likes to score goals, so hopefully that'll get him going. All right, back to Matt. You have any update on Kobe Roth's condition? I don't. I don't. Do you have any final questions here for Scott? Matt? Scott, your thoughts going into the final game on Saturday uh, against North Dakota? Well, we got to, we gotta, you know, get some, get some rest again. We can get a good, get a good practice uh, in or two and you know we'll see what we do tomorrow uh, and a lot of guys played minutes or certainly with a short bench so i'm not sure you know having a practice tomorrow is that important it's nice to have the two days so if we get out there friday we'll have good practice and you know i mean it's the last 
last game here in the, in the pod and, you know, against another great team. So, you know, hopefully we can come out and have the kind of effort uh, over 60 minutes that we did for, for most of this game. And uh, if we do, we'll give ourselves a chance, but uh, it'll be a battle. So we're looking forward to it. I mean, it's a great way to end uh, the pod against, uh, you know, a team that we like playing and we've had great games. All right. Thank you for your time, coach. Yep. You bet. <clears throat> All right, we're joined here by Nick Sweeney following UMD's shootout loss to uh, the University of Omaha. Uh, Nick, how do you feel you guys played out there today? Uh, I thought uh, we came out playing good. Uh, obviously, uh, having a two-goal lead going to the third period, it's tough to kind of give that up. Uh, kind of put us out in a little hole, kind of having to kill kill some penalties. Um, obviously, getting a point any night um, is good in the, in the NCHC, but uh, we would like to kind of get some more. Over to Matt. Nick, can you take us through uh, the shorthanded goal that, that you and Noah teamed up on? And, and that's not the first time you guys have gotten breakaways in the pod here like that off uh, face-offs to start kills. What are you guys seeing? What's allowing you to create those chances? Uh, I think kind of just uh, the readiness at the draw. I think we kind of have our game plan going into every draw. And um, Noah just won a puck battle and made a great play to me. And um, I was kind of fortunate to find the back on that. But I think kind of just... Uh, preparation, being ready every single draw to, to make a play. And uh, when you get an opportunity, kind of make the most of it. Back to Matt. Nick, how tough was uh, outside of an opportunity like that? Uh, Omaha had the, a pretty big advantage in faceoffs tonight. How tough were they in the faceoff circle? And, and what do you guys maybe need to do to, to even that and win more of those uh, draws, especially in your own zone? I think that it's, uh, it's a five-man effort. I think everyone kind of looks at a face off and thinks uh, it's a center job to kind of just win it. But uh, for us, it's the wingers getting into help, uh, uh, doing whatever you can. If, you, if you're not winning draws, tying up, letting your wingers come in, trying to win the puck. So obviously that's a crucial part, kind of just the possession possession part of the game. And, and uh, it's an area we'll clean up and um, we'll for sure get better at it. And back to Matt. Nick, the, the two days off, normally that's not a lot in college hockey, but how 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 those two days feel for you guys after the the loss to CC and that stretch of games you were in? What did that do for your guys' energy going into tonight? Because it seemed like you guys had a an extra step out there, at least to start against Omaha. Yeah, I think I think it was huge. Obviously, kind of like you said, it's uh, only two days. Normally, college schedule you get uh, four or five days off, but I think those two days were huge for us. Uh, kind of just uh, get a day off, uh, get the legs back, and and uh, kind of just get, our, get ourselves back to uh, a play in a kind of normal schedule. So, uh, yeah, they're big for us. Uh, we've got two more days off now, so kind of do the same thing. Uh, uh, do whatever we can to kind of get our legs back in, in one final, final game here in the pot, and it's going to be the biggest one for us. And back to Matt. Nick, looking back to that first meeting with North Dakota where you guys battled to a 2-2 tie, uh, what needs to change uh, this time around for you guys to – to get that extra point and what are you expecting out of out of this last battle with two teams that are you know closing out the pod here uh i think it's going to be it's going to be a battle like it is every single game when we play north dakota obviously a rivalry game um two two tie like you said kind of last time uh we were fortunate to get, to get the extra point so uh we know that they're going to want to come out and, and play a good game and uh, it's going to be tough all over the ice and i think that um kind of like we talked about this whole time is we're gonna have to play a full 60 minutes and uh, if, even if it goes longer, then we'll, we'll play those minutes too. So uh, just coming in, uh, being prepared from the drop of the puck and, and playing a full 60. All right. Do we have any final questions for Nick here? All right. Thank you for your time, Nick. Oh, yeah, thank we you have guys. one more actually from Matt real quick. Sorry, Nick, I'll squeak one more in here. Uh, you guys lose Kobe Roth. Uh, Quinn Olson comes in and uh, helps set you up for, for a goal there. How how do you feel he did uh, in this game? How do you feel he gelled with you guys? Uh, kind of a little reunion. He started on your line at the beginning of this pod. Yeah, uh, I think kind of um, everyone's interchangeable here in, in our lineup, and uh, Clay did a great job coming in. I think he he played really good when he came on our line. Uh, we kind of played we played together last year at the end of the year too when Jackson got hurt, so we still kind of had that had that chemistry. Um, and like you said, kind of the beginning of the pod. So uh, yeah, not too much has changed. Just kind of. Uh, whatever guys are out there, everyone's got to be ready to go. And I think uh, Clay did a really good job of uh, All right. Thank you for your time, Nick. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thanks, guys.